So we're here today with NEO Tech Guan. NEO is, uh, works for the South Pacific region in the CIO office and he's the subject matter expert for us on cloud computing. Uh, so NEO, thanks for coming today. Um, I, th I think we'd like to start off by asking you, what do you see Huawei's main cloud offering? What do you think we're offering to the marketplace? Okay. Um, I have to say that Huawei has been investing on cloud computing since uh, four years ago. Um, to date, uh, we actually invested quite a lot of R&D effort in setting up these uh, cloud computing services. And there are two offerings that we have today. One is infrastructure as a service, and the second one is software as a service. Now, specifically for infrastructure as a service, um, we actually have built the hardware, the software virtualization, plus the managed services support you know, to offer to our telco partners. So from the Huawei perspective, we actually build based on Huawei's uh, server, Huawei storage network, as well as the you know, uh, firewall and the rest of the equipment. And then for virtualization, we actually build based on the Zen open source. And uh, for the managed services, basically we are leveraging our back-end support you know, to help to deliver end-to-end -end solution to the customer. Now for the sales portion, um, we are actually building a software called the Cloud Service Bucket. In short, we call it CSD. Now, uh, the capability of CSB is it allows us to work with the telco partners to build a marketplace. And within the marketplace, we will offer this service to the customer. The, the customer can actually buy application from this marketplace and they can actually do single sign-on for all the application they purchase within the, the marketplace itself. So it's a very, making everything very simple for the customer to consume the cloud services you know, in, in that area. So, uh, so Huawei is really offering an end-to-end -end package. That's right. You know, and, and I, think, I think in the industry we're hearing a lot about security issues. Right. So you know, how is Huawei addressing that concern of security? Right. So uh, when we build the infrastructure as a service, uh, security is always in the back of the mind of the R&D team. Um, we have actually uh, worked based on this uh, security framework, and the security framework is actually based on six layers. Um, so we do the layers based kind of uh, security protection for the cloud solution. The lowest level means the physical layer and then moving up is the network security layer and then the uh, infrastructure, the management, um, following that is the virtualization and the last layer is the application. So each of these layers ensure that you know, we have certain specific security built you know, from physical all the way to the application layer. So things like firewall, things like intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, uh, NTT DOS, you know, all these are part of consideration. Okay, so uh, in overall, you realize that the cloud services, in fact, is actually very secure. And to some of the telco, if they still think that whatever we have done is not secure enough, we can always uh, do certain customization to add on additional enhancement of security to the product itself. Mm -hmm. So a secure end-to-end -end product. That's right. That's great. That's right. So you know, I know in the market there's a lot of vendors out there today, like Google and and Cisco with their VCE consortium and Yahoo, etc. How do you think Huawei stacks up against those vendors? Okay, um, big players like Amazon, big players like uh, Google. Their cloud offering, in fact, is very standard, right? It doesn't. It is actually for most of the customers to actually adopt that their technology and their solution. So, if you are a customer that has certain specific requirements that is uh, not part of the standard offerings from uh, Amazon or Google, you basically um, will not be able to use the services. Now, unlike all these big players, Huawei is actually very flexible. We actually have a base core sets of products and solution that we have. And uh, what we're going to do is we offer this solution to the telco and then for telco, if they have certain specific requirement, we can actually do the customization. So our strength is in terms of working on the customization to build the right products for the telco that they can actually offer to the marketplace. That's great. So very informative. Um, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you.